Welcome, Achievers, to a very tired Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of December 9th. But this is going to be a little breakdown of the Game Awards that we just turned off. Yep, I'm literally talk to just, you about it. just stopped. Yes, about 10 minutes ago, maybe, probably less. Yep. I am one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally across from me, of course, as always, Alex. I'm tired. Yes, I am also very tired. It is, um, <laughs> it was we're very long now. We have schedules that we have to abide by, and my mm-hmm. body is telling me to go to bed. But, <laughs> yep, we need to record this to talk about the game awards. Not the usual spiel, as always. You, you know what to do like, comment, subscribe, oh, five star review, patreon.com slash users. We're gonna jump into this game awards rather quickly. Alex, I did not watch the pre show, so I do not have a breakdown of that. Um, the only thing I saw was they announced a Telltale game for The Expanse, which is a pretty popular show. I saw that. Yes. Um, I don't think I saw anything else that was particularly crazy. It's um, just a couple in the games. Uh, some some look cool, you know, yeah. little things. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. There was a game called Have a Nice Death. That yes, looks really rem- nice. Yep, that's what I'm thinking of. It, very like- um, Hollow Knight inspired, seemingly. Looks very cool. I can't wait to play that. I'm, I'm mm. definitely playing that. That looks awesome. Then they announced yes. Persona 4 Arena coming to PS4, Switch, and Steam March 17th. Very excited to try that for like three hours and never play it again. But, I'm, <laughs> but those three hours are going to be really fun. I'm not a big fighting game guy, but I love Persona, so I'm, I'm going to turn it on just to mess around with it. Mm-hmm. Um, they opened the show pretty strongly with a really cool Oksha. That was really nice. Um, we're going to go over our actual thoughts of the award show at the end. As you hear, just so you know, look at the time steps if you just want to know our thoughts on the show. Um, Jeff immediately comes out after the show, hits the nail on the head, kind of. Immediately talks about the harassment that that um, seemingly yep. he talked about but didn't talk about um, the last couple of days. He does reference that harassment is not welcome in the industry. He is hinting uh-huh. at an Activision Blizzard situation. He never references them directly, though, for obvious nope. reasons. He just, he's just saying in general. Yeah, he just says, in general, this stuff should not be allowed. It's not welcome, blah, blah, blah. But he never yep. says anyone's name for obvious reasons. Yep. Ninja Theory is what opens the show, essentially. Oh, and Achievers, quick note. I am not going over any winners. That I don't, I don't think that's necessary. Um, if you want to know the winners, we'll probably talk about our favorites at the end of the show. Yep. Ninja Theory Hellblade 2 is shown. Um, I literally wrote in my notes, this game looks really good. I don't believe it will still look this good when it comes out. Hope I'm wrong. Hope I'm wrong. It's, it's, it's weird because it how it, it, look, it looks, it looks, because good. it looks like you're watching a movie, but like, apparently that's how the game is. Apparently they, they were moving. Now I never yeah. heard live demo, so that was probably pre-recorded. So again, I don't, I don't know if yeah. I believe that's what's the game going to look like from being honest, but I would love to be proved wrong, especially with Hellblade 2. Hellblade 1 was already mm-hmm. a beautiful game from when it came out. If, this, if that is actually really what it's going to look like, it's going to change the game. Very much. Yeah, so. I'm, it seems like they completely changed comp- like how the game is compared to the first one. Yeah, they definitely did. Yeah. Um, I did write down, Alex, you'll enjoy this. Uh, that was some Attack on Titan shit with that... Uh, Oh, dude! With that thing as crawling soon, towards him. As soon as I like, because I mean, of course, it's major like Viking Nordic yeah, yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, Definitely. this is nice. And then they look over, you Ugh. see like a big human or just some type of body, and I'm giant. like, they said it was a whoa. Giant. I was like, oh, Attack on Titan vibes here. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely an Attack on Titan, and it's like crawling <clears> towards <throat> them on fire. It's oof, very scary. Um, my yeah. wife was very much enjoying it, too. She can't wait to play that with me. Yeah. Um, then we get into a very shocking game that we knew about. Star Wars Eclipse. Now, we didn't know the name, but this is Quantic Dreams game. This is the first Boy. game in the High Republic universe. We don't know much aside from this, but Quantic Dream is making the game. We did report on this being leaked, so we did know about this before, but we have confirmation that it is real and it's going through with release. um, So, I am excited, hopefully. I'm excited because this is what I wanted, because I wanted more, like, like, um, 
high republic stuff like you know jedis or or normal thing like like how we you know the game the old republic everything you know they're just there's, jedis walking around yeah a bunch like of that. jedis bunch of yeah Sith. like no we're not trying to hide like yeah. i don't want to do that I don't... Yeah, yeah 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 this this looks very this looks seemingly cool high yeah. republic you get to run around millions of jedis you did right the wrongs from the prequels hopefully, hopefully it's not gonna happen no, hopefully that's <laughs> um Mm-hmm. Hopefully this has the right marriage of like combat and stuff because Quantic Dream, not mm-hmm. known for good combat, has very fun uh, storylines. Albeit Detroit was um, a little on the nose in a bunch of ways, but I mean, curious they to see Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Those were awesome stories. Yeah, no, they're good. The re-release of Beyond Two Souls was really good. Yeah, not the original game. That's true, but. I am very curious to see what they pull from this. I am rooting for them. I hope mm-hmm. this is good. I want a good Star Wars game. We've had one in like the last decade. So mm-hmm. be cool to have two. <laughs> Anyways, that one. But two. Lost Ark was shown. Looks a lot like Diablo. It's from Amazon Games. February 11th. Looks kind of cool. Looks like a dungeon crawler. Yep. I'm not too crazy about it, if I'm being honest. Looks like one of those games I look at, like, that's cool, and, like, never actually play it, though. <laughs> then we got the... Alex. Mm. I didn't hear about this Wonder Woman game. I've we finally know either. what Monolith has been doing. It has not been a sequel to Shadow of War, unless they have two teams, which is possible. But WB Monolith is working on the Wonder Woman game. It's apparently a single-player open-world action game. Apparently, it does have the Nemesis system in it. Hey. Um, it is a full original story... To become Diana of Themyscira. Oh, sorry. This is a quote. A quote. To become Diana of Themyscira in the fight to unite her Amazon family and the humans from the modern world. End quote. Very vague, but we'll see more. <laughs> Didn't even have a date. So this thing's probably 2023. Yeah. So don't get too excited, but we know it exists. Very curious what they mean by the nemesis system in this. Maybe we're fighting. Yeah, like Steppenwolf. <laughs> It's just all Stefan Wolf. <laughs> or it's Stefan like bear. Stefan Dolphin. Just a bunch of Stefans, but with animals. Stefan Orangutan. Stefan Giraffe. I can keep going. Stefan Polar Bear. Like an ice uh, variant of the regular let's, bear. Let's, let's, let's continue. Okay. Uh, you sure? I think I have, so. Okay. I can keep going. You sure? No, because I, I, I don't want to. Is next. I, look, I don't want you to keep saying Stefan when it's Stefan. Yeah, Stefan. I'm saying the same thing. Mm-hmm, sure. Alan Wake Let's Two is, is announced next. I, I freaked out. Um, I was very excited. Moment, literally yes. the moment it came on the screen, I said, "This is Alan Wake Two to my wife." Yep. And I kept saying it, and I was like, "This is oh my god! I can't I can't believe it was true." And it is Alan mm-hmm. Wake Two. Um, it is Remedy's first take. Um, is their first game that they have deemed a survival horror. So they're definitely leaning in towards the more uh, darker side of Alan Wake 2 in this release. It's going to be coming in 2023, so no time soon. But we do know it is coming, and I cannot wait for this. Dude, I I can't wait. Alan Wake 2, finally, after 10 years. Very excited. We've been asking for this, man. We keep we keep asking for things, we and we keep, keep bringing it to And they're gonna be like, you know what? Here, but uh, Survivor Hidden. Horror is. I'm excited. I like that. I like that a mm-hmm. lot. Yeah, it's gonna be very scary. Not oh, gonna yeah. have a lot of batteries. Probably not gonna even have that, a lot of bullets. Even, even that trailer. I mean, it was, was kind of creepy. It looked like he was going insane. He's like, "You are the monster," or something like that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then he like, ah, and then ends. yeah, <laughs> bad. <laughs> 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 yeah, he made the face that Luke Skywalker did in Last Jedi when he drinks the milk. He's like, mm-hmm. Horizon Thanks 2 footage image. was shown off. Looks amazing, as always. I mean, at this point, just stop showing me the game. Just release it. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII. Re- I, uh, Alex, do you want to say anything about Horizon? No, I mean, I <laughs> don't be mad at Cheevers. I've yet to finish the first game. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. Yeah. I find yeah. a new reason to dislike you every day. Every day, right? Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming to Epic Game Store December 16th. It is called Intrigade, so it does include the Yuffie story. Mm-hmm. Uh, PC Game Pass had this whole spiel I, uh, that now it is renamed 
Sorry. So it was Game Pass for PC. Mm-hmm. They have renamed it to PC Game Pass. And they did like this whole thing with Little Dicky and uh, I forget the other guy's name. He's really cool too. Gata. Got yeah, got it. Yeah. Gata. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they they uh, did take a picture and tweet all of the games coming to um, day one for uh, PC Game Pass. That's gonna give me a while to get used to. Mm-hmm. Uh, so all games coming in the future: Total War, Warhammer Three, Redfall, Stalker Two. Atomic Heart, Slime Rancher 2, Plague Tale Requiem, Starfield, Paparazzi, okay, Space Paparazzi. Warlord, Orkin Trading <laughs> Simulator, Replaced, Somerville, Ewoden Chronicle Rising, Scorn, yeah. Unannounced Day 1 PC Games, announced at TGA's coming in the future, it's kind of a joke in the thing, oh, Sniper Elite 5, trailer is coming to ID at Xbox Gathering Showcase, at Twitch on December 10th, Pigeon Simulator, Trek to Yumi, and an unannounced game from Huge Call Studios. That was everything listed at the bottom. That was... Yeah, I could not see that. That went so fast, and I was like, I don't want to pause this. Yeah, yeah, I uh, went to the Twitter and got it, so... Yeah. it was They, they actually did post it to the Twitter, which is kind of funny. Got it was it. a funny thing. Oh, yeah, um, for sure. Uh... That's cool. The rename makes sense. PC mm-hmm. Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass. It aligns everything very pretty perfectly to make it make sense. So I don't care, honestly. But it's very cool. Um yeah. as in it was a very funny trailer. I'm moving on. Destiny 2 had a new expansion trailer. Um two 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 is when it comes out. Mm-hmm. Uh Alex, I my nipples were very erect when this oh, was shown. I, I went to text I went to text you and be like, so how hard are you right now? I've just I mean I was cutting diamonds, Alex, if I'm being yeah. honest. Yeah. Um, but I cannot wait. I just Alex, when you when you pick up the ghost hive and you smash it in your hand, can you imagine how satisfying that's gonna be, Alex? Oh. You pick it and, and you crush it in your hands. And it makes a little face yeah. when you do it. Oh my god. You like they took the like that's such doom. You tell yeah. me? You tell me that's not Doom right there? It's crushing in your hand? Such Doom. Okay, Game Studio making a game called... And this is the name. Slitterhead. Slitterhead. Mm. I'm very uncomfortable with saying that name. Slitterhead. So, like... It, so Like, he's, like they, say it slow in, in three syllables. Yeah, it's... Like uh, unsettling, uh, yeah, to say the least. And the I, the trailer is probably even more unsettling. Like, uh, I the don't Bokeh Studios said they're inspired by Hideo Kojima's Silent Hill. More on that later. And it looks like people like break in like pieces and like become big monsters. I don't know how to describe it. It looks terrifying. Yeah, Nightingale from Inflection Games looks really cool. This, this looks was interesting. The Victorian going to different dimensions. My wife like, liked it a lot. Then she went, this is only online, is it? And I said, probably. And then she got sad. Yep. <laughs> um, and I was like, maybe it's single player. Like, maybe you could play it like by yourself. But who knows? Um, the one game that I can't believe is being made, Golem, the Lord of the Rings game. Golem, the yeah. untold story was shown. It's going to be launching on all systems. Um, it looks like they tried to answer my main critique of the game, which is how do you make a golem game? And it looks like he's just going to be doing traps. Or at least that's the only thing they've shown. Um, looks dumb. I'm sorry. I can't imagine playing... Maybe I'm wrong, Alex? Yeah, I hope, but I can't I hope imagine they... playing an entire game as golem and being like, yeah, this was fun. I hope that like hi, like every once in a while you're just in the middle of fighting and you just all you go is golem, golem. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, just in the middle, just. Bang, bang. <laughs> oh God, golem is. It's interesting. Like, it, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if people that may, are making this game got um, inspiration from the. Remember those games, uh, sticks, uh, the goblin. There's like a it looks it oh, looks a lot like yeah it's like, it looks like a goblin but yeah. it's like a very stealthy game yeah yeah I mean this is definitely gonna be like I, I think it was even 
said it was a stealth game, which I get. It. Yeah. I get it. I'm not conf. But how do you make that fun? Was my question. Maybe it will be fun. Maybe it will be fun Maybe. being this small little helpless thing. Maybe who knows? I don't know. He could dis- he could destroy fish like nothing. Yeah, he can. He bites him a lot too. Somerville mm-hmm. is the next up, made by Jump Ship. Very creepy looking. This one, yeah, this one's interesting. Very creepy looking. I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. it gives me inside feels. Yes, that's the, that's inside. what I was thinking too. Probably the coolest part of the show. Mm-hmm. Cuphead Delicious Last Courts. It's an amazing orchestra. DLC Island. And I was just sitting there like, this is awesome. Like, they're, like, doing the little old, like, cuphead. It's delicious, last course. Comes out June 30th. Looks awesome. I will be playing it and dying immediately. Oh, I never even could beat the first game, so I was like, I'm good. It's um, fun, but I, don't know God, if I you, suck at the game. I don't know if you heard it, Alex, <laughs> but when this next thing was shown, you could hear awoos outside of your house. Because uh, that was all the furries getting super excited. Sonic Team mm. showed Sonic Frontier for holiday 2022. I'm excited for this. Mm-hmm. Had a guy, this is complete, utter nonsense, but I'm going to say it anyways. Had a guy come by mm-hmm. um, at my place of work, and we were just having a discussion, and he just casually brought up that he's a furry. I have nothing against furries, my name. My name. It's just, I, I've talked to him like three or four times, and he just brought it up very casually. I was like, so oh, for- for cool. people who don't know what furries, not me, dot, 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 um, what are furries? Uh, so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, furries, sorry, I just assumed um, all the achievers would know. Uh, I know mm-hmm. you know, Alex, but for the achievers who don't yeah, know. No, no, yeah, just tell them for the, you know, yeah. Um, so, it is, it's one of those things where people say it's not sexual, but it, 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 it most of the time is. So Is people like dress up. So people dress up as um, animals, and you can infer the rest. So got it. Yeah, got you've it. seen you've seen them. I've seen them. Yeah, you've seen people yep. dress up, and and again, not and all. And it's of not them, a tail. Not a, hmm, not all of them are. Let's say very specific reference that I that only I know, <laughs> and I'm not telling that story right now. Um. <laughs> Do it. One day I will. Anyways, uh, it's not always sexual, but a lot of the times it is. Yeah. Moving on, yeah. <laughs> Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna try to be Sonic Breath of the Wild, which is yes. the annoying way of saying an open world game. So, yep. Who cares? I, I I don't. Maybe there's a Sonic fan out there that's like, this is gonna be the one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like like you, Magic Sonic fans, like. This one is the gonna be the good one. Yeah, this one's gonna be good. Hey, I'm just keep like said, saying that over and over again. Yeah. Like I said, I'm excited for. It. I want to. I'm hoping it's good. How are you? Yeah, okay. I want to run around like Sonic. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Up next, give him a Detero, uh talks for a little bit. I wasn't gonna bring this up, but he. Sp- <laughs> they're making. They're. They're making Make it clear. Movie. Silent Hill is coming. They're, they're making literally... it clear. Yeah, they're telling you. They're, they're like, telling yeah. everyone out there there is a Silent Hill game coming. Like, Yero Totoro looked us all in the eyes and said, I like we could, we Silent use... Hill. I hope they make another one. <laughs> There's a new one. <laughs> There's a new one coming. That was. I'm done talking about it now. It's it, it's now clear as day. That reminds me of the Instagram tweet uh, p- a picture. Remember Alex, uh-huh. where it was like uh, <laughs> blah 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 silence, and then the the last the one of the authors was named Hill or whatever, and you're like, yeah. that's a little on the nose. That was that's one of my favorite yeah. memories of on the show. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, that was the only reason I brought that up, though. Moving on to Warhammer Vermintide 2 War Priest. This is one of seven War- Warhammer games in this show. Uh, so I think this is just them adding that character in the game. This would be a whole new game. I just want it to be now. Chia gets a new trailer. I think I'm mispronouncing this. Apologies if I am. Coming to PS4, PS5, and then Epic Game Store. Just had a new trailer. Nothing crazy about it. Looks cool, though. 
Uh, we yep. finally got a gameplay look at Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Coming 2022. Uh, Alex, out of that gameplay, what did you think? This is the kind of first time we get to actually sit and talk about something because everything else has kind of been quick looks. This is like gameplay. We sat for it for a second. We looked it at how everything was happening. It seemed a bit too abrupt to you. Not abrupt. I'm sorry. That's not the right word. Uh, it just... It was too quick. Like, like I'm trying to see the gameplay, but it's yeah. like, oh, there's so much going on mm-hmm. here. Do, you're actually moving, move but then, then let's let's just let's just skip that. Let's just move them to the next scene. Yeah, like they're hinting at like, she like, oh, you're gonna fight. Uh, what's his face? Uh, Flash, but yeah. they don't show that. I guess I guess they want to keep it. No, yeah, they don't want to show too much. It looks like they wanted to focus on this is what people are going to. This is your experience playing the video game. Yeah, like, like I said, I miss. I miss the oh, let's sit down mm-hmm. and see the actual gameplay with yeah. a motherfucker with a controller. But yeah, we might see that in happen. E3. It's still a year out though, so we that's we don't. True. Yeah, it, it, they might not just be ready. Um, hopefully we see. They did say specifically in summer they would have something to show. So maybe it's, we. No, I, I am excited for it because it's. <clears throat> I just wonder how big the game is. Yeah, me too. How much, yeah. how much content is this? Obviously, it's co-op, so it's going to be cool that we could play together. Do you already know who you're going to play as? Uh, yes. I mean, they're going to be uh, King Shark or uh, Deadshot. Yeah. You, you, the, the, the honestly, stuff Harley Quinn is dope. They, yeah, they, honestly, they all look really fun. I'm being Harley mm-hmm. Quinn. Um, yeah. But like the stuff that Deadshot was doing, I was like, that seems pretty Alex. But the King Shark, yeah. he was doing a lot of jumps and like body slams. He, he, he gives me a lot of Hulk vibes from the I was the just about game. to say this. Yes, very Hulk with his like movements. And there's yeah. literally, a th- I liked his little move where he just picks him up and just <laughs> like just yep. eats his head. It was awesome. Yep. Um, and um, I do like Captain Boomerang too. I like how swift he looks. And oh, I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. It literally looks like he throws a boomerang and just can, go, can teleport to And you him, can run fast dope. as fuck. Dope. Yeah, I was like, Interesting. I do like that. Gives me yellow flash vibes from Naruto. Naruto Shippuden, to be exact. Minato, Naruto's dad, had this thing. It was called a. It was called a. I think it was called Flash or something like that. Flash technique or something. He had these little daggers. He'd throw the dagger, then he teleports where he threw the dagger. Oh, I remember pretty that. Sick. It's pretty sick. Yeah. Really cool. Really cool. Did you didn't see it long though, which kind of sucks, but uh, it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed the trailer. I do know what you mean. We didn't see a lot of it, but again, it's they got a, yeah. they they have a year. I wouldn't be shocked if this I gets mean, delayed I, I, again. I, I, so I get it, yeah, yeah. But, but hopefully, we see this soon. Um, I am very excited to see how we get like creative, yeah, and take out the the heroes. I did love the line where it's like it's like he goes to shoot the flash. He's like. They just it just really? messed it, yeah, it just you, mailed me the bullet. You could have mailed me the bullet. Like that like I was like, okay, the, like the writing here yeah. it looks really good. And I'm very excited for that. For Spoken's up next, May twenty fourth, Alex. This looks sick. This looks fun. This looks sick. The the water I, with, so, with the, For Spoken, I, I can't wait for this game. Okay. I'm a little worried about how the game looks. Because from yeah. all, because from all the games that we've seen, yeah, like, 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 uh, facial detail and everything, everything looks good. This seemed a little, uh, not not dull, but it wasn't as much detail as you would want to see at, at, as a next gen game. I do know what you mean. It like did, it seemed a little blurred. The it, character it was like, model it, did seem a little. Almost muted in a weird <laughs> way. And that's not the word I want to use, but washed out maybe. I don't know. When I did, I do know what you mean. Clear. I was right there with you. I I feel like the last trailer looked better. Better, yeah. Than this one. So maybe it was yeah, an issue with time. Maybe they maybe just couldn't polish it, it fully. But yeah. yeah, it just it just didn't look polished. Like it yeah. looked very. Hmm. Let's okay. I, obviously, we can tell. Like between 1080 4k things like that to me that looked more like a like a little slightly under 1080 yeah yeah i I, I would love mm, to talk i would love to talk to the devs to see if like they had any time constraints that they'd never talk to me but yeah but i am excited for the game the movement the fluidity that all that looks awesome magic looks yeah the magic it's super cool may 24th how long yep saber interactive and focus home with warhammer 
announces Warhammer, Warhammer. 40,000 Space Marine 2. Um, looks cool. Looks like a, it looks like Gears of War mixed with uh, Fallout. It was just a CG trailer, so we didn't see any actual gameplay, but cool. That's quite kind of a theme with this one. A lot of CG stuff. Mm-hmm. A lot of CG stuff. Alex, I, I'm, I know you don't care about Warhammer, so I'm moving on. Um, next up, Deep Silver Volition. I want to know your opinion. Saints Row coming out uh, August 23rd. This trailer does give what me a little bit more Saints think? Row 5. Okay. I yeah. agree. I, I actually I, wrote this, down this has yeah. been the best showing of the game so far. Yes. Yeah. Before, by a million. Yeah. From what they showed before, I'm like, I am not getting Saints Row vibes from this. This, when they show, you know, you jumping off the thing and you're just gliding with the thing, when yeah. the wings sue, you're just randomly doing crazy shit. Now I can see it. The only now thing that I gets can see me it. worried is why don't we hear people talk? I want to. He- I want to hear some writing. Saints Row is very witty. Saints Row is very crass. Um, very. Yeah, I, yeah. I was uh, missing. That gross. was missing the uh, so. the dildo hammer. I mean, like, where was that at? <laughs> but that that's my point, though. Like, we we didn't. We don't. I don't feel like I got enough of the writings. Uh, you know how in the we'll talk about it later. But Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of how the uh, talking it talking is not. The, how, how the writing is going to impact the story, how it yeah. can uh, make scenes funny, things, things like that. With Saints Row, we didn't hear any character interactions at all, and I was hoping to get a little taste of how the writing will be comedy-wise, because I feel like Saints Row comedy is very funny, which makes yeah. the serious scenes hit much harder. I want to bring up Saints Row 2 with all the scenes when you're hanging out with people. There's so much fun, and then it gets very serious. And for example, when one of your teammates die in a very, very messed up way, that makes that scene that much stronger. Well, it's so also hoping... Saints Row two to three. There was a big change. You there was, to tell. but not in the writing style. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's not true. The right, the way the writing c- came through is very similar. Where, but the of course the leaps and bounds of what they do in two and three is way different. My mm. my example meaning is, I hope they keep the juvenile isn't the right word, but like the very crass humor and yeah, the very gotcha. buddy humor that they have with each other. The more the more brotherly sisterly humor they have together, mm. Fam- familial is a much better word. Familial gotcha. kind of humor that they have together, which they're constantly busting each other's balls. <laughs> so yeah. we so when they get to these serious scenes, it hits that much harder. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Fallout Guys is getting a Nightmare Before Christmas crossover live from December 16th to the 27th. It looks very fun. It looks like you'll be doing challenges to unlock different costumes. Assumably, most of them will be cosmetic. Uh, me, sorry, most of them will probably be purchasable. It looks like the uh, challenges were for the Santa Jack suit specifically. I believe you'll be buying the Sally Mayor, Mayor and regular Jack Skellington outfits. Dune Spice Wars, a real time strategy game, was announced coming 2022. Uh, nothing was shown other than a CG trailer. Um, cool. I don't know Dune, but. I don't it- either. I mean, but it's, it's very getting popular a lot of series. Very popular yeah, series. Yeah, I was about to say it's getting a lot of popularity, especially with the. I wonder how the movie was. Uh, I heard it was huge, and was it? um, yeah, but th- I apparently the movie sets up another one, like got it. That's kind of the nature of the first book. Sure. I think is it sets up something else or something. I don't know. Not not important. Uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland gets a very detailed trailer, showcased weapons, like I mentioned before, writing. The combat. I'm very excited for this because I do love Tiny Tina as a character. This is basically just her getting her own game. So I yeah. am very excited for this. Uh, <laughs> the weapons look very fun, but we didn't see like a bunch, bunch of them. Uh, yeah. I want to see like what 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 is the crazy weapons we're getting in this? The um, writing looks very funny, whereas like the uh, big brute guy had fairy wings. That was really fun. Mm-hmm. A bunch of stuff. Can't wait. March 25th. Um, this I didn't see coming. Among Us VR coming to Steam and Oculus Quest 2. Yeah, as soon as you see the guy waking up and go to put a pin in it, I'm like, um, just a little Among uh, Us man running out. I was yeah, like, what? Like, I, 
I saw people excited for this online. I can't share the enthusiasm, unfortunately. This I, looked yeah. comical, but maybe that's the point. I'm assuming, that, I'm, I'm assuming I'm supposed to laugh at that, right? I'm definitely going to try it because it said it's for PSVR, so I'm definitely wanting to try it. Okay, but, but like, do you feel me, though? Like, that was silly, right? I think yeah, we're no, supposed, think supposed to supposed laugh at that, right? Be, yeah, I think it's supposed to be silly. Okay, I, I don't mean, think it's supposed to be terrifying. Giant... It looks like a person in the inflatable suit running at you. Yeah. Like that's what it looks like. So I'm like, I'm, I, 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 I don't think I was supposed to be scary. So it's like, okay, if that wasn't the intent, th that was awesome. No, no, no. I think it was just supposed to be uh, like funny. Because it's like, oh, God, there's somebody in front of you. Yeah. And if um, it was supposed to be scary. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, new characters coming to Genshin Impact. I miss the names, but... I dude, I didn't even see the names either. They said it in the beginning. Oh, they never say again. it. Okay. Yeah. So, I couldn't. Yeah, I, I couldn't. But it against out. an impact, people, you you've already bought them or whatever the fuck. So. Yeah. Steel Rising coming twenty twenty two. This was weird. So this is like this. You play as this doll person fighting like some sort of Victorian era. Steel automatons. There's like a steel dog. Animal magnetism was the word used. Looks very strange. I do like weird stuff, so I'm very open to this. Um, but we yep. did not see much, so I can't tell you if it's gonna be good or not. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. In the th in it, the theory of it that they were proposing to us sounds fun. We'll see mm -hmm. if it actually is. Metal Hell Singers up next, coming 2022. It is the rhythm doom game. I could not figure out, honestly, I could not figure out what you're doing. I don't know if you're the one controlling the, yeah. the, the, controlling the gun, everything. or you're controlling the, like, the little arrows and hitting and the other, and, like, I don't know. Yeah, you, uh, that could have been explained a tiny bit better. I, yeah. It, it, the way I took it was, you're controlling everything to kill things efficiently. You have to rhyth <clears throat> rhythmically do everything ah, see, that's with a, the beat of the song. This is that's, not a game for me, so... That is not. And I see I'm a rhythm game guy. That's, it's too much. I feel like you might like it, but... I don't know. When, I, when it comes to me having to shoot a bunch of stuff at the same time... Yeah. Mm -mm. Google Play on PC coming 2022. Um, you will be able to move your Google Play games from your phone to your PC uh, without any difference in uh, like saves or anything like that. So that's mm -hmm. cool for the mobile players out there. Star Trek Resurgence coming 2022 um, looks it's pretty rough, not going to lie, but it, it's probably budgety. Did it say it was by Telltale as well? Yes. It was, yeah, it's... Yeah. But it's not, but it's not a Telltale series, it's just by the, 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 the studio. Star Trek Resurgence. Because it said it was by Telltale, but it wasn't a Telltale series game like how the other one was. Right. Like The Expanse. Right. No, I agree with what you're saying. That's why I was like, what? No, no, no. This is former Telltale devs. Former, thank you. That's okay, because right. I just they remember them a, saying they made Telltale. a new studio, I think. Got it, okay. What's the studio name? Achievers, give me one sec. I apologize. Uh, I mean, for people who like Star Trek, I mean, maybe the, I'm sure they'll enjoy it. I just couldn't tell what type Dramatic of game it is. Labs. Dramatic Labs. I couldn't tell if it's like an RPG or if it's just a story based. Or I think it's strategy. Okay, I think it's like I couldn't. Yeah, I don't think I don't think too much is going on. Um, I couldn't tell. Yeah, but I'm not being too hard on the game, right? It does look a little. Sh the characters look a little weird. No, no, yeah, that's what I'm telling okay. you. That's how that's how I, how I was feeling about Forspoken, and that's how I was kind of upset. I was like, man. I mean, Force Token looks way better than this. I was just saying, like, no, I, yeah. it just put me aback because I wasn't expecting no, the I get you. very rough nature of it. Not, not important. Rumble, Rumble Verse. Uh, this is from Iron Galaxy and Epic. Um, Dude, if I remember correctly, Epic just up, mentioned Iron Galaxy. And I was so confused what was happening. I was like, what is happening right no, now? I, no, in my head, I was, first off, I had already tuned, I, I'm t I was like tuning it out because I was like, whatever. And then I was like, mm -hmm. oh, it's a battle royale. And I was like, cool. All right. Another one. Uh, I don't have anything to say. But also, we don't know the game. It was CG. Not CG, but it was a... Little we don't know what the game is. Yeah. Plague Tale Requiem coming out 2022. Focus um, Entertainment and Asobo. Looks cool. I need to finish the first one so I can understand Damn. this one, but this looks fucking awesome. 
Being yeah, honest. this one looks this one looks good because I've I've played a, maybe what a quarter. No, no, I'm sorry, a third. I played a third yeah, of the I've, first game. I played like four hours maybe of the first one. I do really do want to finish it. Maybe I'll do that. Um, maybe January time. I don't know. I, I'm gonna play that before that comes out for sure. Yeah. Uh, Dying Light got a CG trailer. I was very upset about this. Dying Light. Two got a CG trailer, February 4th. Maybe they didn't want to focus resources and really want to focus on the game, so they probably got another studio to make the trailer. Maybe, but... I mean, the I CG... Like, why I can mean, I look I, at the game? Why, why I mean, I did the enjoy game? the trailer because it gave, I'm like, ooh, it gave me decision vibes. Like, like this dad went to... I, I had to steal... A light from another family, and then he winds up dying in front of his kid. Oh, like, oh it, Dead Island. Dying light. Oh, the, the trailer we watched. That's what yeah. happened. No, I know. Oh, I thought you were referencing it. No, 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 no. I no, no. Dead Island trailer. Sorry, no, 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 no. I said so it was just. It was, sorry, no, and no, it gave me vibes of like having you having to decide like hard decisions. I see. I see. Yeah, and I'm like, oof. I was like, I, I'm, I'm so excited for this game. Techland, of course. Um, yep. We've been waiting for this game for a mm-hmm. while, so I'm very excited to see it when it is yep. ready. Remedy and Smilegate um, come out with Crossfire X February 10th. Um, Alex, what? Yeah. I mean, this was a kind of another trailer where I was like, I don't know what this game is. Okay. I'm actually going to look up Crossfire X. See if there's... What is this? Is a competitive multiplayer in a cinematic campaign. Hmm. So it's got multiplayer in a campaign, apparently. Interesting. Okay, I was just curious. I, I I did not know what this game was. Now we do. I'm I am excited for this. Weird name. Crossfire X. Yes. Really. Because um. Excited. Because uh, it reminds me of Crossfire. Mm. You'll get caught up in the crossfire, crossfire. Go to YouTube and look up crossfire. I'd play it right now, but we'd get fucking destroyed by YouTube. Isn't, the, is, isn't that the uh, Guardians song? No, 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 no. That that is a old, old uh, commercial or crossfire. It was oh, a. I, yeah, I, yeah. Why my mind's thinking like that song was like no. one of the songs in Guardians? No, it's because that was so good. You're like that had to be a real song. Got but it. no, it was like a. Uh, That's what it was. I think it was like Nerf, but it was called Crossfire. Uh, you don't get caught up in the Crossfire. I think I know exactly what you're talking about now. Vampire Blood Hunt, Spring 2022, PS5 Steam. Cool. I I I tried it. Early I mean, access. It's, it's interesting. Seemed promising for people who played it. Um. Yeah, I played a little bit. It, it, you you're very smooth. Like way the van like. When I was playing, you were very fluid in the movement. Yeah. So, I mean, it's promising. GTF, GTFO launched today on Steam. So, as they were talking on them, he did one of the it's out now things. Is it weird that I'm interested in playing this? It did look cool. Yeah. Like, when they showed the game, I was like, mm, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Halo trailer. This is when they show the Halo trailer. Paramount Plus coming in 2022. Um, can't tell if it's good yet. It didn't show a lot. What do you think? I, I, I hope that it is good, like, story-wise, because, okay. I mean, I, from what I could tell, the CGI and everything, I mean, obviously, they got all the resources. It's gonna look great, but story-wise is my, is my thing. I Like, what are they gonna try to do is my thing. Okay. So I'm just hoping that they take the, the story in the right path and don't like don't do like a bad first season and they get canceled. Cuz I, mean, I, I I need to see this. I it, it they didn't show me much. I don't know if it's good or not, but I'm not a fan of the CG Halo people. Not a fan. Mm-hmm. Put them in suits and do not do touch you... them with any CG garbage. Oh, you talking about like just like actually the ar- armor may has to be real? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. There are some shots where the armor was real, but on the ship yeah. when the characters were pointing guns, that was all f- that was clearly fake stuff. I mean, I'm sure it could be hard as fuck because, I mean, if you think about it, a lot like, like I don't know, like it's it must be hard to move in suits in general. I mean, think of Iron Man and Spider Man suit in the movies; those are fake. He wears it a lot of the time. Who? 
Tony Stark. Well, no, I'm saying I know, but like I'm saying, like when they're doing like sp- scenes, you can see he's just wearing a mocap suit. Yeah, sometimes, but so, the yeah. majority of time, I'm not saying they have to do it all the time. I'm just saying the yeah. majority of the time, especially in tense scenes, need to have a suit on. And also, like you're acting, and I, I know it sucks, but get over yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Pot guy came out. It's a very strange interaction. <laughs> he gave uh, Jeff Keighley a note. I love that note. somebody just, he just like, it looked like he was trickling in there. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> and he showed the, an Elden Ring trailer. Uh, it looked like Dark Souls people have a lot of YouTube content for like the next week. So I'm happy for them. Uh, especially <laughs> the uh, Vati videos out there with the lore videos. Ooh, boy, you guys got lore out the wazoo. I have no idea what I, I, you could quiz me on everything she just said. No idea. Zero. I think oh, that I, I remember the lady had two faces and it was a ghost. That was really cool. I liked like her design. She was cool. Mm-hmm. The, 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 what's the, the person with the fake arm? She looked really cool. Oh, the, oh, you're talking about the one, uh, the one that was fighting the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She went, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fighting. Uh, Matrix, they showed the movie, and also they announced Matrix Awakens is available right now to play. It is an Unreal Engine 5 look. It is meant to be like, look how real it looks. Oh, my God. I'm actually going to try it out. Me too. I will, too. I will. We'll talk about it the next just cause show. It's ma- yeah, just because it's Unreal 5, I want to see it. Yeah. Um, and Alex, that is the show. They announced the Game Wars. Congratulations. It takes two for winning yes. the Game of the Year Wars. I did not think you would, not because I did not enjoy your game. I thought everyone would vote for Deathloop. Thank God. Yeah. You won. Thank, yeah, no, I I'm wanted so Death. I wanted I wanted it takes two to win, and yeah, so did too. my wife. Yeah, me too. My wife did as well. She will be happy when she awakes to learn of our victory. Mm-hmm. Um So that's that's all the announcements in the show. I just want to discuss the show for a little bit. What did you what did you think? Because I'm pretty sure we have about the same reaction. So what did you think of the show? So first half, pretty good. Yeah. Second half, I was falling asleep. So it was literally three to get hours. Up. It is three hours every year. And this one dragged for sure. Yes. Um, like they should have put all good, those bad, announcements good, bad. I, just, I just said. That was a lot of stuff. And... He truncated the beginning of the show with all his good shit. They should have like made like mixed and match. Well, maybe so. He did this last year. He ended with the movie thing because last year was Fast and the Furious Crossroads with Vin That's... Diesel coming out blasted out of his mind. Wait, mm-hmm. the year before. Sorry, the year before that. Fast and Furious Crossroads, twenty nineteen. Um, he did this. You I think, think he was blasted? I don't remember. Whatever. Vin Diesel came out blasted. And they talked about the movie and shit too. He did the movie thing again this year. And I'm curious if this is going to be a theme now. Like, is he just going to get people to talk about their movies at the end of this or something? I don't know. But he did not end with a banger, which Jeff Keighley very much enjoys ending with bangers. The only reason he didn't last time was because something happened at the last minute, apparently, is what I heard. Maybe we'll hear something happened at the last minute now as well. Uh, Maybe he has something with Activision and maybe... All that stuff that happened, they had to get out of the show. I don't know. I don't think he would have done that to begin with, so I don't think they were in the show. To, but very strange to end on Matrix Resurgence trailer, which I don't know about you, Alex. That was a whole lot of nothing. And then Matrix yeah, Awakens, which is just a tra- which is just a demo of an of an engine. So interesting way of ending the show. Now, I love Game of the Year. So I, for one, am happy. But as a, as a, a event, I know he likes this kind of gravitas hype thing. As a hype thing that Jeff Keighley loves to like announce things at, he, he ended very poorly. What do you think? Yeah, I I agree. I uh, I I wish he would have mixed it because he put every all his good shit in the beginning. Yeah, I mean, and he should have just he should have done like okay, we'll do a great thing in the front. 
add a couple of the small things that we know we don't. He add. had to have been there. Ha, there has to be Jeff Keighley's not a dumb man, he, yeah. and he's done good shows before. Why he must have worried it would leak or something. Yeah, that or do people? Okay, the way he pushes puts things in the show, can people pay to be to be shown first? Things like that or no? So 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 this is very complicated. And I do not pretend to know everything, but a lot of what you saw are ads. Not everything is an announcement in this in this event. A lot yeah. of these were ads. Let's not forget the uh like five minute long music video in a video game thing. Um are you talking about the K pop music yeah, video? That was paid for for sure. Yeah. Um there's a lot of things that were paid for. Anything that basically said out now or is mm-hmm. an easy way of knowing it was paid for. And that if you just kind of piece the lines, you can figure out other things were paid for. So, yeah, people pay for placement. Um, announcements, specifically, probably no money was exchanged. For instance, Ninja Theory, mm-hmm. Hellblade 2, I wouldn't be, I, I would be pretty shocked to hear they had to pay for that. They Jeff probably talked to them and was like, hey, can I get an exclusive and you'll be at the beginning of the show? They probably were like, yeah. yeah. Um, Star Wars Eclipse, probably the same thing. Hey, I'll put you at the beginning of the show, but I'll get the ward, ward premiere of it. And they're like, yeah, that's fine. And like, no money exchange there because that keeps him relevant. That keeps him like yeah. the show. Like, that's the show that Star Wars Eclipse was announced at. That's the show the Series X was like, you know, stuff like that probably doesn't get charged. Now, yeah. Did Final Fantasy VII Remake coming to Epic Game Store December 16th have to pay? Yes, probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Did PC Game Pass stuff? Yeah, that definitely was paid. Destiny oh, 2 trailer? Okay. Probably. You know, you could probably look at other, other things. Like, yeah, that was probably paid for. Other things, you know, they probably made some deal. Et cetera, et cetera. I got really in the weeds. I'm sorry. I don't know if you actually cared about everything I just said, Achievers. Alex, so you seem to have spaced out halfway through. Hopefully some Achiever out there was very like intrigued, like, oh, that's how it works. But uh, to make a long story short, yes, Alex, they do pay. That would have been funny if I, if I would have uh, fallen asleep. Uh, you're, you're dozing. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> but uh, but, but back, to, back to the show. Um, yeah, so I... I agree. Uh, I was feeling it about halfway through. Yeah. Um, halfway to two thirds was when I was kind of looking at the clock. Like, eh, is this over yet? Like, and that's that is the last thing when you're making content that you want the person watching your shit to do. Watching to do, yeah. To look at your clock and be like, what? Well, you know. So, yeah, I, I, I was. I mean, I really, I mean, I'm looking at this list. I really stopped paying attention. Suicide Squad and Forspoken and everything else is like, I'm paying attention, yeah. but I'm I'm looking at Twitter. I'm looking at Reddit. I, yeah, I'm texting I literally was, you and joking about how nonsensical half of this is. I literally was sitting there and I was like, I wonder if I can go do dishes and come back before something come, good comes up. Yeah, and that's so not that's, good. That's That's not good. That you that you were like maybe I should go do something like that's not good. You should not want to yeah. go. So I do think he messed up in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. Um, but I am not playing backseat video game awards manager. I have no idea what his plate is, but I have to judge what I see and what I saw sure. was mm-hmm. definitely not one of the best game awards. This was kind of a I would say average to almost mm-hmm. below average game awards. He's had some really, really, really good ones. Yeah, for sure. And this is definitely not one of them. I agreed. Shout out to those exclusive those. Those are big deals. Now, those exclusives do not warrant a three-hour show. Mm-hmm. But on the other side, I have to keep saying this. I love the awards. Uh, yeah, I would like to see more awards given out. I want to hear people talk. Like, that's the one cool thing about Oscars is they're constantly giving out awards. Like, people go up there and go, "Best role playing game goes to this person." Best esports. Like, why are we going so fast? I mean, like, I, mean, I get it's, it's, you're trying is... to make money, bro. But yeah. I, this is supposed to be an award show. Yeah, Either exactly. It's an award, it's an award show? show or is it a conference? 
is it an award show or is it a marketing thing? And I get you want to have your cake and eat it too, but it's starting to not really work. Yeah. In my opinion. I want to like, see, like I every see awards. person that went up there is like, oh, wait, I'm running out of time? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, it's been 30 seconds. Like, like relax. Like, this is, this, we need more time for awards. And I've said this yeah. literally every How about single... more and less, um, what are they called? Uh, the music, like the people do, doing stuff. I love the music. No, don't stop the music. Keep the music coming. Mm-hmm. We need to, we need to, we, I almost wish this was two separate shows or something. Like there was some sort of marketing thing and then we got to the award show or something. I don't know. But like, I really like the game awards and I hope they, I hope he gets a better balance because it feels like more and more every year we're more moving more towards conference than award show. And this one is the most marketing one i've seen yet this is clearly just commercials like for you and and i get it you gotta pay i get yeah i get it you have to make money i get it i'm not get the bag bro i understand you gotta make money for the show but you need to either make that organic or you have to make something else that isn't an award show because your award show is kind of becoming, like you said, Alex, it's kind of becoming just a conference at this point. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, Car- yeah Car- uh, um, Carla was telling me, and they, like, when I was watching the pre-show, she was like, oh, I thought they were, I thought they don't show stuff to the show. I'm like, well, they're showing stuff in the pre-show. Yep. So, like, they just constantly just showing stuff. And I'm like, well, yeah. the, like, I mean, if anything, use the pre-show for, uh, I mean, they use... For like what two awards and that was it. Mm-hmm. So I mean, yeah, I yeah. I'm very confused. I'd love to talk to Jeff and just ask him what is his motive with this show, and what I assume is his motive is a marriage of celebrating video games and by and celebrating hype is is a I can't I'm tired. So that's the best way to put it. Celebrating the uniqueness of video game hype that we have. No it, real industry it has. Should be just celebration show instead of a uh, award show. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, no other industry really has the like excitement we do, right? Movies don't have like a place where they announce the movies and people get excited and. You know, yeah. oh, my favorite studio is making this game now, or Super Bowl, Halo Infinite. That's not the same. And, and, and like this thing's coming in um, <laughs> Super Bowl and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. So I understand that is almost a part of our community is like, yeah. hey, let's get hyped mm-hmm. and show off these cool games that everyone's making. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of rambling, but. I want an award show and I understand you got to pay bills. So yeah. I would like a more leaning towards award show, but yeah. again, and I if don't not, know, I mean, I don't know what it's they, like they making one of these. Don't call things. it an award show. Just sort of just do, do go away from the awards. Well, no, I was hoping they just do two things. Yeah. Just, just make a conference and then the next day do an award show. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, yeah, okay. yeah, I mean, I guess movies I get like about. four different events. Like they get the Oscars, they get the Grammys. They, I mean, they have well, so many. We'll be doing our award show called the Achieving Games of the Year. So we'll be mailing those out shortly to our list of best role playing games soon. But until then, we have to go to bed. But. Let's not forget what you can do to help support the channel. You can like the video, you can comment, you can subscribe to this video and hit the notification bell to get notified anytime we upload a new video. You can, of course, on a podcast service of your choice that you're listening to right now, five-star review that helps the algorithm. Everything that you could do to our videos and our podcast helps the algorithm. I thank you so much for taking a second out of your day to do that for me, so I appreciate that. If you want to support us financially, you can, of course, go to patreon.com slash easyachievers. 
plenty of tiers to look through that of course you could dm us that's how you get onto the show with a question or some sort of uh assault to us if you'd like to make fun of us in some way uh we dare you give us a dollar <laughs> and talk garbage and i will clap back as the kids say uh alex aside from that do you have any lasting comments for the achievers out there no on that note go chief go chief <laughs>